Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my page. Happy 2021. We made it. <laughs> All right, a new year with new videos. Let's see what we start in our 2021. We have a Dodge 1500 Rural. Now, when I say Rural, it's in Spanish for station wagons or brake or variants. They got different names in different countries. Now, for you guys Dodge lovers, you may say, hmm, I've never seen this Dodge before. This Dodge was never made in, in America, in USA. What's going on here? Well, remember, Dodge made cars in other parts of the world. Let's put this more in the center. There it goes. There it goes. All right. So this is actually a Hillman Avenger. If you recognize the British Hillman Avenger, this is actually the Dodge version of the Hillman Avenger that was actually made in Argentina. Like I said before, Rural is a station wagon, so this is a station wagon. And this is actually the Argentinian Automobile Club version of it. That's why you see a little bit lighting on top, like like the, you know, the little siren to let them know that they're coming to their rescue. <laughs> So this car actually, you know, was quite sold in South America. Not just Argentina had the Dodge Avenger. I mean, the Dodge 1500. Also, they made them in Colombia. They made them in Uruguay. They had them in a few countries. And I'm not, I'm sure also in Brazil they had them. But they had them in the different name, if I'm not mistaken. But the Hillman Avenger was quite sold in in other you know in Latin America just not as a hillman and this is a 1978 model now these cars are from a collection collection of an Argentinian uh magazine brand called Salvat I, I'm not sure, it's a magazine cars and the company that distributes them is called Salvat in Argentina and this is one of their models which I collect them, almost all of them. They're great, well-made cars, gorgeous. And this is not an exception. As you notice the plate, when it goes around, you're gonna look at it again. It's an Argentinian plate. And I'm not sure, but I don't think the station wagon version of the Hillman Avenger was ever made in the UK. Now, every, if anyone of you know there, let me know. I'm not sure. That's one big question that I'm trying to remember myself. And I don't think I ever seen them in in the in the Hillman brand. So this might be an exclusive for the Latin American market. But please do not. Take it for granted. It may I may be wrong, but going back to this car, it's a very well made car. You can see the name of the an Argentinian. Uh, I'll tell you exactly what the ACA means: Automobile Club Argentino, which is Argentinian. That's exactly what that means. So it's very well made, very detailed. I like how they detail every little insignia. For the Automobile Club of Argentina. Very, very well made. I like these wheels. They're exactly like the real life. I love when they make all these little details. And they make sure the car looks like in real life. Great job. I really, really like it. How they made them. I like. I even like the color. I'm not going to lie. Even though I know it's a, it's a um, commercial car. I like the color. If it would have been like that in real life, I would have been loving it. I'm trying to see what's this. It's like a toolbox. Or maybe it's a sign. You know, some cars back in the days had a sign that lift and said warning or be careful. You know, like 
to warn other drivers there's a disabled car something like that most likely and the wiper in the back you can see all those details the the pipe and those chrome bumpers very 70s and 60s car even the early 80s they love those chrome bumpers they had to have them right <laughs> it was not a 70s car if there was no chrome bumpers in it even though the cheaper cars chrome bumpers everywhere all right guys i'm gonna let the car go around and have a nice look at it so you can enjoy it All right, guys, you know, I put this paper now, if you notice, the background is white. And this is the shiny part because this car has like this metal, this chrome, so it makes it shiny. And, or or maybe it's the base itself, you know, the rotunda that goes round is, is a mirror. So it gives a shiny mirror in the back. The reason I put the white paper because I noticed some, some of my videos... The camera was trying to catch the autofocus a lot, which used to get on my nerves. <laughs> I couldn't be more direct. It used to get on my nerves because I, I, I could see the camera was trying to get focused. So someone told me, you know what? If you put a white background instead of the regular, it will not try to catch other items as the focus. The focus will be the car, <laughs> which is what's going round and round for you to enjoy it. So I said, you know what, let me do that. And I'm thinking it's working pretty well. I haven't seen the camera try and grab focus back and forth like it used to be. I mean, it didn't do it all the time, but it did like three, two, three times and it used to bother me. You know, when you try and make a good video, good quality video so you guys can enjoy it and it's not coming the way you want to see it, it bothers your eye, right? Well, that's how I am. I get very annoyed. I, I try to figure out what's the problem. What's not, what's not letting the video record properly. And there it goes. All right, guys. So hopefully you're doing great. You're having it. You started your year very well, which I hope you did. And let's make it the best out of it for everyone. And I'll see you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button. It will remind you when I'm posting more videos. Take care and stay safe. Goodbye.